So what we've got is the two walls of a room. Let's use this room as an example. And what happened there is we have a wave that can bounce back and forth. And as it bounces back and forth, it's always crossing over the same path in phase with itself. Because it's arriving in phase with itself, it's going to sum and get louder than the other frequencies in the room. And what we can see is as the wave bounces back and forth, the nodes and antinodes remain in the same location. Okay, let's talk about why this is such a big deal when we talk about critical listening environments and studios. What you experience there is also one of the biggest problems that occurs in a home studio. And one of the reasons why, if you tried mixing stuff at home in your bedroom, you probably wrestle a lot with the low frequency. And one of the things you're probably noticing when you've been working on your own mixes, or perhaps working with your own clients, is you can get the LS sounder pretty good in your room, but the second the client takes it home, or you play it in the car, or it's reproduced somewhere other than your room, the bass is all off and you're in this constant process of trying to wrestle with your LF that you can never quite get right. 